Well, between those college protests and camp campaign politics, there's been a lot of negativity in the news this week. Yeah, it seems like it. This morning, our John Keller takes a closer look at the brighter side of things. Good morning. It's been one of those bad news weeks we sometimes get, wouldn't you say? Hard feelings on campus, harsh words on the campaign trail, horrific scenes from the war zones overseas, and here at home, depressing weather and early darkness. So let me try to brighten your mood a little bit with some perspective. Most college students, including those protesting, do not fit the stereotype of clueless narcissists eager to shut down dissent manifested by a few, any more than most college administrators, or Americans for that matter, fit the caricature of unfeeling racists. The civilized world will find a way to stop ISIS and other genocidal maniacs, at least until new ones emerge. We're less than 40 days away from the winter solstice when the days start to get longer. And while the nastiness of the campaign may not be going anywhere, last night's CBS News New York Times poll of Democratic primary voters contained a finding that may lift your spirits a little. 75% of respondents want their candidate to, quote, compromise with Republicans in Congress in order to get things done, rather than stick to their positions on the issues, even if it means not getting as much done, end quote. Other polls have shown a smaller number of Republicans, but still a substantial majority feel the same way. We're in that stage of the campaign where the hardcore partisans and their favorite candidates dominate the dialogue, but history shows that all fades as the real decisions approach. But don't let that bum you out too much. Sanity, like spring, will prevail sooner than you may think. Let me know what you think by emailing me at Keller at WBZTV.com or reach out via Twitter at Keller at Large.